Okay, it seems to have started. Hi. The tech rabbit here again. Yeah. It's New Year. Now it's, um, I have to remember, 2019. Oh, I'm probably going to be messed up with that for a couple months. Um, yeah. yeah. New Year went quite okay. Nice. Nice party and stuff. Um, yeah, we're back here to do another quick video. Um, thinking of showing um, let's see if I switch to this one. So we've been playing around with this um, Arduino KY008 laser diode and now um, I'd like to just to demonstrate how you um, control it with a um, block standard old-fashioned transistor and um, there was one thing I was going to look up before I started making the video and um, that was the top frequency I'll see if I can find it here um, bandwidth Collector emitter 5 volts, 100 megahertz. Hmm. Well, that might be. Might be the. edit this out if it gets too boring. But I'm looking for the um, frequency performance. And with product. Seem to be pretty confident of its performance at 100 megahertz. Okay, whatever it can jump over that for now. Uh, and then now, uh, what I was going to do is to just to control it using this simple circuit here. Just the um, a one kilo resistor on the base and then against ground. No, we, we don't have this 100 ohms here. And then this, this basic is replaced by the um, laser diode. So if we have a look at the circuit here. So I set it up on a breadboard here. So basically it's that same circuit I just showed. And um, I have my good trusted frequency uh, generator or signal generator and we can actually set up the 50 hertz first just as a reference oops, not too fast there we go and um, what I did now is to um, because when the when you have the transistor in the in the circuit, um, yeah, you can even see my mouse. That's cool. You get a bit of a voltage drop on the transistor. 
Uh, that's depicted down here, actually. They have an example. Actually, switch to that. This one here. So you get 0 0.15 volt, uh, volts. And then, um, come on, it's a GIF, it's an <laughs> animated GIF. And then you get 0 0.7 here. So like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 volts, whatever. So that, that approximate um, voltage drop. But I mean, you can compensate because what I did is I um, increased the, um, the uh, supply voltage to 7 volts and then it seemed to be, then I get peak to peak 5 volts over the um, um, laser dial, so then I can keep the, um, if one wants to keep the voltage stable at 5. And then it was just the, uh, what I was interested in, what's the max speed that one can use. Of course one can't really know what the profile of the um, signal is on the because I haven't got anything to measure it with it right now, so I can't really actually measure the optical um, response. But if I would, um, yeah, and I did did what I did in the previous video, so I did a little bit of pre-testing. So if I do. That this is just very hobbyist um, testing, so it's not. Oh, wait. Mm. There, now oh, it's stabilizing a bit. Oops. So then you still get a reasonably um, stable waveform. Uh, and that's 50 kilohertz. At 5 volts as the um, control signal. So that's, that's you go, yeah, run it up to 50 kilohertz. As I said, I don't know what the optical performance is, but I mean with a transistor you get a lot higher. You can um, switch it on and off a lot faster than you can, of course, when it compared to the or uh, the example I made for the mechanical relay. Yeah. And, um, let's see. Now it was if I if we make it a hundred kilohertz, which was one of the measurement points that was given in the... Um, I don't know why it's scanning on the oscilloscope, that's a bit annoying. It wasn't doing that when I was doing my pre-testing. see if I can... Um, triggering again. It was working very stable before. Let's see. It should be more stable now. Well, what we can do is we can just stop it for a while. There. I won't jump around the picture so much. Um, Oh, so that's a hundred kilohertz. So basically, um, we can see the um, the input signal here, which is the controlling signal from the signal generator. And then we have here we have the voltage over the um, um, the um, laser diode pulling it to ground. And then we see that we have a little bit of switching uh, delays and then a little bit of the curvature of the control signal as the 
perfect timing. But according to the quick look at the um, spec sheet, it should, you know, this transistor should handle 100 kilohertz. I mean, that's like a measurement, relative measurement, and then of course it drops off performance when um, the frequency gets higher. But if we actually I can of course see where it falls apart so that you know, get a very ugly looking control but that's um, that's one megahertz so um, yeah then it starts to so 100 kilohertz to one megahertz then it gets that screwed up so yeah yeah anyway that was sort of very quick um, Relatively practical test on the I'm um, using a transistor. Then one could of course tune it by um, using the um, base resistor. One could change the value of that and try if one could get it to be more efficient. And then of course there are many different types of transistors, so one could try and switch to another to a faster transistor. But I just thought I'd show that this is the way one can control the laser diode with a um, yeah, with a simple transistor just for the fun of it ok that's that one for now see everybody later and happy new year